YouTube, what's up, what's up? Back with another video. Before I start the video, I want to appreciate everybody that's been uh, hitting that sub button and um, supporting the channel, man. I watch a lot of my videos after I record them, and I notice that I'm asking for y'all support a lot and um, not really saying thank you as much as I should. So I definitely want to um, shout y'all out, you know, everybody who has been supporting the channel even though it's a big percentage that um, people that's that's viewing the channel, that they're, they're not subbed, I appreciate the ones who are subbed. You know what I mean? You can't ask for too much. I mean, my channel's growing slowly, and that's all I can ask for. As long as it's getting growth, I can't I can't complain. So you are appreciated, whoever been hitting that button. Um, but anyway, my day today, my day today was it was okay. Um, I roll with my fourth person today, so it's good and it's kind of frustrating. Um, no uh, shots to the guy that I roll with today, you know, because everybody watch YouTube nowadays. So if he just happened to see this channel and, and see me, I'm not talking bad about you. Um, my thing is, uh, it's really no wrong way of doing things. And, um, I mean, it, it could be a wrong way. Like just use common sense here. Like I'm not talking about cross contamination, putting raw meat on fresh produce and it's dripping down. Okay. That's the wrong way, obviously. And, um, you know, smashing eggs, stuff like that. I mean, that could be the wrong way, but what I'm talking about is you're going to stack the dolly, how you stack the dolly. Also, the, the big thing is the, the whole point of, you know, running these groceries inside is getting them in there, not damaged and, you know what I mean, not cross contaminated. So if you do that, if you get a case in there like that and it's uh, stacked in a way where it's not going to fall over, I feel like what's up, what other way can you do it? You know what I mean? So uh, today I learned how um, people stack differently. So working with my trainer, he might be like, hey, don't put this on top of that. And then you work with somebody else and um, I'm trying to find like the correct box to stack with. And like, hey, just, just throw that on top of that. And um, that that's what I that's what I kind of learned. I'm like, you sure? But the way my trainer teaching me, I know it's the right way because he um he's teaching me in a way where I'm not having spills and you know what I mean crushing stuff and even though you might can make it inside with it, you know what I mean without it, you know you take your time without it, you know getting damaged. You gotta think about it being stacked in there, you know if the people are not able to get right to it and those boxes start thawing out, you know what I mean. And I got this from a driver. He told me that he he took some boxes in one day in uh, school, and it was around uh, their lunchtime, so they had to serve lunch. And uh, come to find out, when he when he came back the next time, that they told him that all the stuff was all over the place, like everything fell over because they weren't able to get to it in time. He said the boxes thawed out and the stuff just fell everywhere. So. What I do when I go in, if I can, it takes like a second. Like I might down stack two boxes, you know what I mean? Just so it ain't as high and, you know, make it more sturdy. And um, the guy I rode with today, he taught me a lot, you know what I mean? As far as um, which, what product is what and looking at, um, and looking in the, hell, the handheld and figuring out what is what. So... That's a good tip for you guys, man. If you out here doing food service, you know, try to start getting the um, getting to know the, the uh, product because that will really, really, really help you. And knowing, like, you know, with Cisco, you got like Cisco products, and um, you can know what color the boxes are. You know, white and red, and this box probably is gonna be brown and. You know, that, that really helped me. And in the beginning, it was frustrating trying to learn it. And um, the, the guy was great. You know what I mean? He was like, I'm not just going to have you running it in. 
uh, I'm, we're going to focus on you learning the product because he used to work in a warehouse and he was like, you know, it's a good thing for you to learn the product because it'd be easier for you and it, it'll save you some time. And um, me, I, I'm just ready to go, go, go. And if I see the number uh, of the stop on the box, I'm just ready, okay, trying to build and trying to stack. And, you know, he kind of was slowing me down by saying, you know, look, man, I'm telling you, if you just read and uh, see what it is, it'd be easier. So just look in the handheld and see what you got heavy. And um, so that's what I started doing throughout the day. And it, it was tough in the beginning when we had a full trailer. We was running out of a 28 today. It was tough in the beginning, but then it got it got a little easier. Once uh, the trailer started clearing up a little bit and I started getting to stops where it was only like 10 in the dry and uh, 15 here. But when it's like 20 something pieces, I don't know what's what, even if I, okay, this is chicken. You know, I know it's probably going to be on the bottom, but how, how can I explain it? Okay. It might be black plastic cups. You know what I mean? Something like that. I, I was just like getting kind of frustrated was like, look, this box says one on it. We had stopped one. I'm just going, you know, I didn't say that to the guy, but that's how I'm thinking. And then it got to the end and, um, I started getting better with it. Cause I was practicing throughout the day doing it. I started getting better with it and, I, and then it started getting easier. I'm like, you know what? He right. So like I needed some shrimp and then I seen a box that was just like, wild caught or something on it and it just caught my eye I'm like that's probably the shrimp right there so little stuff like that man it, it really works so if you're in the food service game man and, and you're watching this video try it out try looking through the handheld or try to start remembering boxes looking at boxes and saying uh okay that's um that's what the the cups look like whatever whatever the box may be start you know looking at that stuff and and, and get to know what the uh, product is because i noticed when i'm with my trainer that's all he does like okay he, he knows what he's looking for so instead of breaking the whole pallet down making a mess working out of a 28 not really having much room to uh organize really good it really helps uh, other than that, what, what else we go through today? We went to a lot of the stops that my trainer run because he's on vacation. So, you know, I knew how to get in there. The guy, he never been on this route. So like it, it, that, that helped. I, I felt like I was a big help today because I knew exactly how to get in, where stuff went. So, <coughs> excuse me. It was a good day. It was definitely a good day. Um, that's all I really got for you guys. I, I ain't really have much, um, uh, the other day I worked with a different guy and, you know, he taught me some things like tricks, how to get, if you got pizza boxes and the pizza boxes, you know, they, they laid out flat. So they're like wide. So, you know, he kind of laid, tilted the dolly down on the box, had a box holding the dolly up and he put the pizza boxes like, okay, like this is the dolly. He put the pizza boxes straight up on the, uh, like where the, the forks, I know it ain't called the forks, whatever you call it. You know, the part that scoops under. He put it, the boxes up like this, half of them. Then he put the other half down like this. And then in this space right here, he had boxes. And then, you know, he just lifted the dolly up, took it in. And, it's you know, you could get in the doorways. So um, that was definitely good, man, learning, like, just little stuff like that. And uh, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of frustrating because, you know, I get on the truck and I try to do it like one way that I learned from the other guy. And then this guy is, you know, telling me this way. And at the end of the day, I'm like, man, okay, whatever works. But it's a training process. I'm appreciative. I'm appreciative of what these guys are, you know, you know, giving me little tips. Like, because I might be doing it a way that the other guy showed me and then you showed me something totally different. I'm like, oh yeah, he do it the hard way. This this, this way is better. But I'm I'm kind of a guy that like to figure things out on my own, even though I know they mean nothing but good and trying to save me time. But I need to do it a couple of times, catch a headache a couple of times and, you know, figure out what's the best way to do this. That That's just, I don't know. It, it's stupid, but that's just how I learn. And, um, 
you make stupid mistakes over and over, you know, you're not going to keep doing it over. You're going you're gonna to learn from that. So I did. I definitely have been learning. So a few more weeks, guys, I'll be in my own truck and I will definitely be documenting every every step of the way, trying to drop a video, you know, every week, at least one, um, trying to keep my videos back to back and not so far in between. For you guys, uh, I'm always up here looking for videos to watch. So if if I'm like that, I know you guys probably like that too. So I'm going to keep dropping these videos for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Support the channel. Um, by April, I'm trying to see 1K, y'all. So do your boy a favor. Help me help you, like I used to say. So um, I'm going to keep bringing y'all the best content I can and uh, giving y'all some tips on what I'm going through and, and how I'm getting through it. And maybe if you come to full service, it'll help you. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to holler at you guys in the next one. Peace out. Stay safe out there.